Hey Ron, now today we're going to install these um, multi-star motors into the DJI Phantom and here are some things that you need. A hex key tool that is the size of your motor bolts. Um, these wire strippers certainly come in handy. Some side cutters, soldering iron and some solder. Basically that's it, so let's go on. So the first thing you need to do is take the top off your Phantom and unplug your GPS and um, compass plugs. Take the top off and unscrew all your motors and you're ready to get started. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is remove these old motors. Um, I'm just going to cut it. It's the easiest way. Rather than the solder in that little tiny bit. And we're ready to put our new motors on. Now these come with uh, bullet connectors on them, so we can remove them. Basically prepare them to attach to the rig. Do the same to our phantom wires. Doesn't hurt to put a bit of heat shrink on there just to make it a bit neat. Now, got one of these bad boys that really help. Just going to put some solder on the edge of each of these wires. That's going to help me. Do the same to your fans. The way we connect these three wires here is very important. Now the the colours are pretty much the same. For both motors, these don't have colours, but the wires are the same spacing, so red, yellow and black. So basically you've just got to attach it the same way and it should be right. Alright, before we heat shrink that, I'm going to do a quick test using the NASA software. Okay, so plug in your Phantom, open up your NASA software, go into basic, and here you'll find a thing that says motor test, um, and it'll bring up a little picture, and that's the way your motors need to be spinning. So that's the front of the Phantom, so we just need to press M1, and it'll put power to our M1 motor and we have to make sure that it's spinning in that direction. So, as you can see, it's spinning in the right direction, so we've got our wires correct. Now we can heat shrink it and we're done. Okay, we're done soldering. Now we can actually bolt our motors to the frame. First I'm going to just use a blade and cut this little bit of heat shrink. It's going to help us later.
Okay, now we can put our top cover back on. Okay, now we've got all our motors on and the shell is together. And all the motors are working. We just need to put our um, propeller mounts onto these motors. They're going to allow us to put any kind of propeller on there, not just the DJI ones, but any ones available. They're normally a lot cheaper, about four bucks for four of them. 